Hi there, welcome to my channel. I'm Sarah with Gigi B Crafts and more. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I really appreciate that you're taking time out of your day to spend a little time with me. Let's get started in our first DIY. Now I have these boards. These are leftover boards from an Ikea bunk bed that we took apart years ago and I have just been using these boards up. I cut them down to the size I wanted and I gave them a coat of the Waverly Celery. Next I'm going to dry brush um, with a chippy brush this ballet slipper. After that, I'm gonna dry brush the Waverly Antique Wax all over these boards as well. This just gives this really nice antique finish that I really love. These are going to be going into a laundry room spare bathroom that I'm planning on doing a vintage shabby chic kind of look for. So that's kind of where I'm going with these. And the final result on these just really makes me think super vintage. I love how these turned out. So once they're dry, I'm just gonna give them a light sanding with um, a piece of sandpaper here. I think this is about 80 grit. And I just want some of that natural wood to show through. Next, I printed off, can you believe this? I printed off on my printer um, this flower image that I got from the Graphic Fairy. I will link her um, her blog down below, but I just printed these off onto some tissue paper of all things. And then I'm gonna take a, this is a paint, uh, like a water brush for watercolor. And I'm just gonna go right around my image, be very careful not to get on the image itself with the water because it will bleed the ink. This is just an inkjet printer. And I'm just gonna go right around the image with my water brush and then tear that image out. It's so, easy and I love the tissue paper a lot more than napkins because it's just a little bit more durable see how easy that came out next I'm going to mod podge this image right onto the bottom of one of my boards I'm just taking this matte mod podge and I'm just going to give it a nice even kind of thick layer here and then I'm going to place my image over the top and then I'm just going to mod podge right over the top of that image it lays beautifully. I loved how this turned out. I will definitely be using this technique in the future. And if you'd like a more detailed tutorial on how I printed these out on my printer, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below and let me know because I would be happy to share that information with you. Also, I want to add that if you do this technique and for some reason your printer breaks, I'm not liable. <laughs> have to protect my bases here but um really it it was really easy and I do not have like a super high quality printer it's just a basic printer that I picked up from Costco it's an HP inkjet printer and it worked perfectly so once I got all the images onto the bottoms of my boards where I wanted them, I am just going to take some of these poster stickers from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna put on their uh, wash, dry, and fold. Like I said, these are going into a laundry room slash bathroom. So I wanted these to have that, you know, laundry theme. Um, I'm doing a collaboration with my friend Jackie and I'll get more into that here in a few minutes, but we decided that we were gonna do laundry themed items for our collaboration. So that's what we're doing. So then I'm taking some of this lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I thought these would fit, or this ribbon would finish up these projects perfectly. I just love the way this ribbon looks to me. It just screams like a vintage shabby chic look. I love it for this. So I'm just gonna take some hot glue and I'm just gonna hot glue the ribbon right around the boards. And I'll do that to all three boards. 
And here's a look at how they turned out. I think these are perfect. I'm not sure how I'm gonna hang them up yet. I'm thinking command strips, but I think these will be perfect in my um, laundry room. <laughs> can't think so i am in collaboration today with crafting in a mimi's world with my friend jackie we bonded in december over gingerbread and she's just been such a wonderful friend to me i hope you go and check out her channel give her some love and subscribe she does some amazing wonderful diys so next we are going to take one of these little lanterns this is from the dollar tree i believe i picked this up like last summer Maybe even last spring, I'm not sure. But they were, um, you know, the spring summertime stuff. And I'm just gonna take some of these uh, stickers. These are the little half pearl stickers. And I'm just gonna take three of them and I'm gonna put them on each of those little flat areas of this lantern. And then there's a little decoration up at the top. It looked like a little flower. So I'm just putting one of these flat back pearls right in the middle of that flower as well. And then I'll add some of these flat back pearls down at the very bottom of this lantern too. So if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would be so grateful and I would love to have you join my channel. Just go down below to that red subscribe button, hit the subscribe button, and then when that bell appears, hit the all uh, option so that you are notified every single time I upload a video. Um, if you don't hit all, then you'll get a hit or miss on the videos when I post them. So I hope that you will uh, decide to join my little tribe here on YouTube. And um, yeah, if you haven't already, Thanks. So we're just gonna give this two light coats of the celery chalk paint, the Waverly celery chalk paint. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna dry brush over the top of it with the ballet slipper. And then I'll also dry brush with that antique Waverly wax. And that's just gonna tie all of these pieces together by creating the same color palette and this really, I love this green for a vintage look. And actually this pink too. Both of these colors together just really give me that vintage vibe that I am looking for. I know a lot of shabby chic um, creators use like a blue instead of the green, but I just really like this green for that vintage feel. And then of course, adding the Waverly wax on top just really makes it look like it's been sitting around for years and years and years. So we're just gonna continue to dry brush all around. And then I'm taking one of these little butterflies that I got from the Dollar Tree. This is like a six pack, came in a couple different styles. And I'm just gonna dry brush some of the ballet slipper and some of the celery right over the top of that. Not caring too much about, you know, where I'm putting it, just sticking it on there. So then I needed to add a little bit of embellishment to my lantern. So I'm taking some more of this lace ribbon and I poked it through the little top there. And then I'm gonna trim off the, engine, trim off the ends. <laughs> oh, you know, I hope you guys aren't here for my uh, articulate English. <laughs> because yeah it's not always but i eventually get it out uh so i'm going to take some of this pink lace i have no idea where i picked this lace up i've had it in my stash for a while i'm i'm thinking that it probably was dollar tree at one point or another i think they came in like little bubble packaging but i can't be for sure so um but the lace the pink lace just was a perfect touch i thought for this little lantern so um, I had 
tied the top of the lace here into a knot and I decided that the knot was too bulky. So I'm just taking that knot out and then I'm going to hot glue my lace ends here um, onto my lantern where I want them to lay. So I, I don't want them to go all willy nilly everywhere. I want them to lay flat, kind of coming down, like cascading down this lantern. So that's what I'm gonna do is just use my hot glue to make those fall where I want them to. And of course you gotta, you gotta take care of all those little glue babies that are stringing around all over the place. But here is a good tip for you if you haven't heard this before. If you have a ton of glue strings hanging out, just use a hair dryer or a heat tool to run over your project real quick and it will take care of all of those little glue babies. So then I'm going to hot glue my bow onto the top of the lantern there. And then I'm going to add my butterfly also with a little hot glue. And here is a look at how this turned out. I plan to have a little tear tray in my laundry room. So I think these will per be perfect for my little tear tray. So here is another little project that I plan to use for my tear tray. This is a little bird. I don't know, picked up Walmart or Dollar Tree years ago. And I just gave it a coat of Waverly plaster. Next, I'm gonna mix up some of this Dollar Tree spackle and the pink ballet slipper. And I'm just gonna mix this together. I'm looking for kind of a mm, thick soft serve consistency here. You'll see it looks delicious, but don't eat it. My kid, my, my daughter thought that that was like a snack, <laughs> like a yummy snack. And um, yeah, I had to tell her it's, it's uh, not for eating. So <laughs> definitely, you know, don't leave this lying around where young ones might see it because it does look pretty delicious. Like you might think that that was some, uh, you know, frosting or something. <laughs> So I'm just gonna paint this um, concoction onto my bird, just kind of patting it. It's a little finicky, but uh, once you get started, you can kind of feel how it is gonna go. So the purpose of this is to make this bird look like it's made of stone, really. And um, this is a technique that I've picked up from my friend Jackie. Um, she, like I said, she does amazing DIYs. And if you haven't checked out her new channel, she has a Dollar Tree Mimi's World where she does mostly Dollar Tree hauls, but she wanted to create a second channel for her crafting. So that is the channel that I'm collaborating with today. And, um, yeah, I really hope you go check her out because she is fantastic and she's so sweet. She just has been such a great friend to me. So here's a look at how my little stone bird turned out. I think it'll look cute on my little tear tray with my lantern. So for our fourth and final DIY of today, we're gonna take one of these square dollar tree frames and we're just gonna take the back out of it. I'm gonna give this like probably, I think it was like three or four coats of this uh, celery chalk paint. And then I'm gonna do the whole dry brush with the ballet slipper and the Waverly antique wax right over the top, just like we've done with the rest of our projects. Like I said, these projects are, um, I created today to be cohesive and work together, so. Next, I found this image that I printed off on my, um, from my computer and this is also from the graphics fairy if you like vintage things vintage um pictures and stuff go check her out because she's got some amazing um stuff that's available for free so yeah definitely go check her out um so i needed a piece of paper for the backing here and i found this butterfly paper that i thought went really well and i'm just using my um 
vintage photo, my uh, Distress Ink Oxide vintage photo to just kind of distress those edges up a little bit. And then I'm just gonna glue everything down and then pop it back in my frame. I have these little stickers from the Dollar Tree. They're just little puffy stickers and I thought they'd work perfectly on the corners. And here it is. This is it. It was so simple, so easy, and just perfect for my laundry room. Let me know in the comments down below which was your favorite for today. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for stopping by. I appreciate it more than you know. And I hope that you have a happy, healthy, and blessed day. And we'll catch you on the next video. Bye!